Good morning and happy Saturday folks. Welcome back to the Terry Tracker channel or if it's your first time, welcome to the Terry Tracker channel where I do a daily vlog almost every day depending on the weather, depending if I'm ill and yeah, welcome. Please hit subscribe, please hit like. Today, this is my window view. Let's get this defrosted. I love a heated front windscreen, except when the summer, because in the summer you see all them lines. Can you see them? Can you focus on them? But in the winter, they're invaluable. I've come back down to the hidden ponds which I filmed before. I'll leave a link in the description down below for those videos, just to see if they were frozen. And looking at it from here, they're only partially frozen. Oh man. They are a lot fuller though, because the path that I walked on last time and where I stood flying the drone is actually flooded. But I was hoping for it to be totally frozen and possibly go walking on it. Unfortunately not. Yeah. Something tells me even if the lake was completely frozen, I couldn't walk on it. Because even this puddle is a little bit there. Uh, yeah. But. I did get all the way down to there the last time, and this water wasn't here. Ooh, it's slippy. <laughs> yeah. Looks like this is as far as I can go. And it looks like there's a bit of ice in the middle of the lake where the birds are sat. Because they're sitting on top of the, the ice. But it's not fully frozen. This bit over here is frozen. Cool. Obviously cool because it's ice. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's still not flying like it should. That should be sitting hovering, but look, it's moving all over. <clears throat> not quite sure what's going on with it lately.
Well, that's as much as the drone I'm flying today. My hands are about to drop off. They're like two blocks of ice. I'm actually in pain with how cold they are. So I had to fetch it back. Don't know if my nose is running. Probably. Um, and the drone wasn't flying as it should. As I've shown you, I don't know if it's the wind, the cold, the mixture of the two, or it could be firmware issues. Not sure, but I need to get back to the car and get the heaters on. It's many, many hours since I picked up the camera because I've not really done anything. So, yeah, come with me on a delivery. Time for a time warp? Go on then. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let's do the time warp again. Oh, put your hands on your hips. Wrong type of time warp. It's not easy having a good time. Even smiling makes my face ache. Not a lot's happened today apart from my little drone flight. Sorry about that. Uh, what's in the news? Let's think. Ooh, the Queen and Prince Philip have had the first COVID jabs. So they're getting immune. Immune? Immunized. What else? Um, ooh, over 52,000 new cases. So we're still over the 50,000 new cases per day mark. And unfortunately, there's been over a thousand deaths in the last 24 hours. But the way they record deaths is a little bit silly. Basically, if you've been tested positive for COVID in the last 28 days and you die of any cause, that could be airplane crash, knocked over by a bus, heart attack, anything, stabbed, shot, it's still classed as a COVID death. So. The COVID deaths per day, the figure is a bit, uh, it's not very accurate. It should be, if you've died of COVID, that would be counted as a COVID death. That makes sense to me. But, and it actually says it on, when they're broadcasting it on the news, on the TV, it'll actually have it in small writing underneath. Within deaths within 28 days of testing positive for COVID of any cause. bit stupid really so if I tested positive for COVID today for instance and 27 days time God forbid I get knocked over by a bus that would be classed as a COVID death yeah exactly oh more COVID news the English government, not the UK, just the English government, I'm not sure what, Bing, what uh, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland doing, but in England, if you want to enter this country from outside of this country, you have to have a negative COVID test within so many hours. I, don't, I can't remember how many hours it is, which is great, awesome. Except, when I can start going back to Belgium and get my business running again, because those of you who've stuck around with me for a while will know that my business is driving to Belgium, buying antique stock and vintage furniture, etc. Fetching it back into the UK and selling it. And the last time I managed to go was July. The time before that was March. Now, normally I go at least once or twice a month. So it's really, really hit me hard. All this, this COVID stuff, stuff, virus. Um, so yeah it's really great that we're keeping the virus out etc but for me i'm not sure how it's going to work because no doubt when i go to belgium they'll want to 
negative test and I'm only there for three days and then I'll need another negative test to come back and I've heard these tests are around about £120 each if you want to buy them for this reason you don't get them free the free NHS tests are for to see if you've got Covid in this country but they won't give them free if you're going out of the country it, I, I don't understand this so you've got to pay a private test at £120 per test and I know that's way way over the price of what a Covid test actually costs so yeah We'll have to see how that one pans out because that's going to stop me going to Belgium when the borders reopen again. This is hitting me hard. So I need to be YouTube famous to try and make some money. <laughs> make money on YouTube. Right. I've got 163 subscribers at the moment. I know my videos aren't the best at the minute because of lockdown, but I assure you they will get better. I promise. Once things start opening up again, I'll be able to take you to more places within the UK so you can have a look around. If it's your first time here, have a look at some of the older videos going to um, Stonehenge. Going to Stonehenge and places like that. So yeah, I will get back to going to more places when I'm allowed. But at the minute, I'm not allowed because it's illegal. So please stick around with me. Tell your family and tell your friends, get everybody a note to subscribe. I need to hit a thousand subscribers to become a YouTube partner and I need to hit 4,000 public watch hours. At the minute, I've got 263 subscribers and just under 1,200 public watch hours. Why do I look over there? Because you're not over there, you're over there. I looked over there, that's where my mobile phone's on the windscreen. But that's where you're normally stuck to the windscreen in the car. But since I'm in the van, you're over there. Now I'm waffling. Sorry. So yeah, help me out, guys. Please. This is the grass outside my house. I can see much of this is dark, but that is solid ice. Wow. Oh, you can see it better there. It's raining and it's freezing as soon as it hits the grass, so we've got solid ice for grass. So, on that cold note, I shall see you all tomorrow. Now it's time to do your job. That means subscribe and like. <laughs>